Hey everybody, uh, Mary Meet, it's Spike with the Pagan Vlogs, and um, I have a topic for today, something I'd like to talk about. Um, and I think it might be a little bit strange, possibly uncomfortable, to bring up this topic. But um, today I'd like to talk about the concept of working skyclad. And the reason I want to mention working skyclad, first of all, for some of you who don't know what that is, that's naked. Doing magic, uh, either in a group setting and usually people only refer to being skyclad more in a group setting, it's working naked. Um, and the reason I want to talk about that is because I think I have an interesting perspective uh, that differs from a lot of pagans, a uh, different perspective that differs from a lot of um, a lot of people in general and just their view on nudity within itself. I think that the way that I look about it is not something unthought of and I want to clarify that it is not by any means marred by um, Christian thought it is simply my own thinking on the topic and whether or not there was some you know fact that you know living in a Christian culture Christian culture influence whether or not that's true it is how I feel comfortable in my practice and I have no intention of condemning anyone else's practice it's simply um, how I choose to practice. Um, and I will not ever in a group setting practice Skyclad. Ever. And I want to clarify ever, 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 ever. Um, and I have multiple reasons for this. One is simply with what I am comfortable with. I am not comfortable in a group setting being naked. I simply, you know, for me that's just not something that I'm comfortable doing. Um, especially um, around people of both genders, which some circles are, and I would, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't necessarily want to be in a circle of naked men either. Um, and this is ignoring everything else in my life that makes me feel this way but this is just a matter of I'm not comfortable with it but if that was the only problem I think that's something that I could push through if I you know if that was the only issue and the only reason but um I have a reason number two um I've always been the sort of person who doesn't like to share my body much you know I, I'm I know it's not the same with guys and girls and whatnot because girls fashion usually is a little bit more um, showy intentionally or not but the least you'll see me in is like an undershirt and the least in terms of my legs would be shorts down to my knees would be the highest I mean in terms of showing skin I don't like to show a lot of skin um, you'll almost never see me walk around shirtless uh, without an undershirt on. Almost never. And I mean, you'd have to try. Um, the only person that I'm comfortable being like that around is my own girlfriend. And I think that that's pretty obvious, the reasons. Um, I don't really care that much with my family, you know. I, but I still won't be naked around them. The only person I'll be naked around is myself and my girlfriend. I won't even be naked around my family. If I have a towel, that's different. But, like, you know, it's just a matter of I don't like to. And so those are all the more practical reasons. I don't like to. I don't feel comfortable. Um, and then I have my view on relationships. And then I actually have spiritual reasons that I choose not to practice skyclad in a group setting. Um, all right. Romantic reasons. And I think that this is pretty obvious. I don't really feel like I should... I wouldn't feel right about showing my body to anyone besides my girlfriend. Unless there was some medical purpose. And I know with her the same thing would go. She would not um, show her naked body to anybody besides me. Unless there was a medical purpose for her to. Um, or if, you know, like someone... Yeah, medical purpose, emergency purpose, things like that. 
Um, and I think that the the reason we feel that way is because we like the idea of only actually sharing our body with each other. You know, only... I guess just the idea of only exposing that part of ourselves to each other. And, like, obviously, again, it's... I think more romanticized because to completely do that is entirely impractical. To, you know, only show your body to the person you love is um, is a little bit impractical in terms of, again, medical reasons and whatnot. But I think that um, in terms of only showing it um, in, to the person you love, and if it ever has to be shown to someone else, it is... In a, in a way that completely um, is very different. You know, there's nothing sexual about it at all, unless it's with the person you love. There's nothing intimate about it at all, unless it's with the person you love. It is because of an express need, which is a fundamental difference, I guess. Um, and I think... Um, that that's just, you know, where we're comfortable. We only want to share our actual body with the person we love because that's, um, to, to me, it's like, it's something sacred to me. Like, my body, um, and who I show it to is something sacred to me. Um, and not, not just sexual acts, but who I show my body to. And so, you know, I, I feel like it, it's special that it's only hers and that her body is only mine. To me, that's a special idea. And so let me sort of transition into the spiritual reasons because usually the religions that would say this sort of thing tend to be more along the lines of Christianity, you know, the, those sorts of religions. And as a pagan, you know, pagans usually aren't, um, and I mean as a whole, the pagan religion is not really the sort of religion that's by any means prudish. Um, look at fucking, uh, Beltane, literally fucking Beltane, you know, lots of promiscuous sexual activity there, so it's interesting that I, as a pagan, possibly, would have this viewpoint, um, and how I could tie that into my spirituality, and while I think that promiscuity, um, might be right for some, uh, and this sort of natural, you know, I'm not ashamed of my body outlook. I'm not ashamed of my body either, but, you know, the different way of saying, you know, I'm not afraid to share my body uh, because I'm not ashamed of it. I don't feel like it has to be sexualized or I don't feel like I should have to hide it. Um, I think that that is a viewpoint that I respect, but it is simply not the one that I choose to, um, to undertake. But I understand that it's a far more true... Um, often thought of as a pagan viewpoint, often thought of as a common um, freeing, quote-unquote, pagan viewpoint, freeing from um, from the rules and regulations that were once there. But I think there is a legitimate spiritual point, regardless of what religion it's in, with anything regarding sexuality, with anything regarding um, our bodies. Some people think clothing is unnatural. Um, I disagree. I mean, I, I don't entirely disagree, but I disagree in the sense that I think that um, the idea of covering the body and only sharing it with the person that you love, I think, to me, has a deep spiritual, spiritual meaning to it. In the same way that you only share a part of your heart with the person that you love. You know, there are parts of you that anybody can see, that everybody can see. Everyone can see my face. But there's those special parts of the heart and those special parts of your body that are really reserved and you keep them as much as possible only for the person that you're truly in love with. I liken the body to the heart. And I liken the organs, the sexual organs and sexuality to something that, just like you only share a certain type of love with someone you're in love with, 
I only share sexuality. I only share a certain part of my body with someone that I'm in love with. And to me, that holds a strong spiritual weight to it. The fact that, no, I'm not ashamed of my body. No, I'm not um, forced to hide my body or cover up. I'm not forced to. But the fact that I choose to. And as freeing as it is to choose to not, you know, choose to practice skyclad for some, it is far more freeing for me to choose not to and be able to have what is for me a wonderful, you know, experience of, of knowing that my body is only for one person, or at least parts of my body. You can look at my hand all you want, freaking pervert. <laughs> but, you know, the, there's a part of my body that's only for one person. And, I mean, I don't know if you're understanding the connection to how that relates to spirituality. But spirituality is just the way we look at life, so of course it's going to be, you know, yeah. But do I have a specific religious reason for it? No, I do not. Um, I don't need one, either. But is it a spiritual reason? Yes. Uh, is it based on any deity? No. It is not based on any specific deity or any specific law or practice of my pagan path. Uh, but to me, it would feel spiritually wrong for me to show my body to anyone besides someone I'm in love with. It would feel spiritually wrong to me. I'm not saying that it is spiritually wrong. I'm saying that it's spiritually wrong uh, for me. And I, I, I want... I, I can't stress enough that I do not think that even my perception of deity would look down upon anybody for choosing that practice, uh, being skyclad. Uh, and I will be skyclad, um, even though I don't really do it very much. And it's usually not a, oh, hey, I'm going to do the skyclad. It's just, that's what I happen to be um, in my personal practice. So alone, or if I'm doing something with my girlfriend, who will occasionally do some, uh, she lives far away, so it's not like, um, I'm actually moving in with her uh, in only, in less than two months. But, um, you know, she... And I have done a spell before together. We have done some of that stuff, that sort of stuff, together. Um, I'm more of the witch in the relationship. But um, she definitely has her own sense of spirituality. So, you know, we have had, have done spells together. And I'm just saying that I would be comfortable working Skyclad with just me and her. Um, and here's an interesting thought. If I'm working skyclad and I only want to share my body with my girlfriend and I'm showing it to the gods, is that um, is that not only showing my body to my girlfriend? I, I'm just curious as to how you guys would, would look at it. You know, for me, I don't really see it that way because I don't really think the gods see in terms of um, in terms of the body. They, I mean, I understand the, but the thought is in being naked, you're opening yourself up to the gods, and um. I can certainly see that, but I don't, I see it as opening yourself up in a, in a symbolic way. Um, I see a lot of ritual things as a symbolic way, and if it's not what's comfortable for you or what works for you, I don't think it's necessary, and I don't think that someone should be pressured into doing it. Or some people, I think that there's a legitimate point to saying, look, you know, I am going to be skyclad on my own. Open yourself up to the gods in the shower, but I don't see them as seeing it as, you know, the gods are staring at your junk and, and, you know, saying how small you are. Just kidding. Ooh, he looks like one of the Greek gods. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really see the gods as being like that or see any deities being like that. You know, I don't see it as showing your body to deity. I see it as a symbolism of opening yourself up. But, um, that's how I feel about it. But I respect everyone else's practice, and if you want to be skyclad with a group, go ahead. I just, uh, it's just not what I'm comfortable with. Uh, blessed be, guys. Later.